I welcome you to this reception that's honoring Paula Giddings, who's this year's Gene Lyman Lecture. This is the Jing Lyman Lecture Series. I'll talk a little bit about what that is as we get started, but first let me just uh, welcome you all here. Our Jing, Jing Lyman Lecturer this year, as you know, is Paula Giddings, and Paula, I'm just delighted to have you here speaking with us. Today, her talk is entitled, History Retold, Women, Race, and Movements for Social Change. And I think with that talk, she's the perfect person to help us think about how we might build the alliances necessary to move beyond the stalled gender revolution. Paula, I welcome you to the stage. Uh, hello, it's so good to see all of you here. Uh, tonight and it's so wonderful to be here at Stanford. It was a reception a little while ago and I met some just wonderful students and also some of the uh, speakers. The marginalization, the false dichotomy, the exclusion not only defies observable reality but defies logic. As early as 1991, intersection explained in part everyone is raced, everyone is gendered, these are social ent entities do not stand alone. The history person that I am, I went to the idea of origin myths. That took me to Seneca Fall, which marked the first women's rights meeting the world had ever known. Charlotte Woodward noted as she was making her own way to the convention site. And long before we reached Seneca Fall, we were a procession. Wouldn't it be interesting if one of our principles was to make women equal to women? <laughs> When you define ally, you, it's defined as a mutually beneficial relationship. Who out there is going to be able to establish a mutually beneficial relationship? So they don't have to like one another. I'm not sure if they even have to trust one another. But they have to be able to work with one another. Women of color were not marginal actors in the women's movement. You embrace those good things. You embrace being an agent for change, which is a thrilling way to live your life. 